Is Star Trek's warp drive possible? Have you ever wondered if we could travel faster than the speed of light, just like they do in Star Trek? The fictional universe created by Gene Roddenberry introduced us to the concept of warp drive, where a spacecraft creates a bubble of space-time around itself, allowing it to travel at incredible speeds. But is this merely a sci-fi dream or could it be achievable one day? In today's video, we will explore the science behind warp drive and whether this revolutionary form of interstellar travel is indeed possible. So buckle up and get ready to embark on a journey that might just warp your understanding of the universe. Let's dive into the world of Star Trek's warp drive together! You all must be wondering, what is Star Trek warp drive? Don't worry, let me explain it to you guys. Star Trek's warp drive is a key technology that enables faster than light travel. By the 24th century, it enables interstellar civilization exploration and trade. It is the main mode of interstellar travel throughout the Milky Way. But as we can see, mankind only discovered it in the middle of the 21st century. Traveling faster than light would typically violate the laws of physics and Einstein's theory of general relativity. But various cultures have had warped technology for much longer. Some theoretical physicists believe that there may be ways to get around that. The question is, however, could we build something like a warp drive in real life? Today, I'll try to answer this and other questions. First, let's take a closer look at the history of Star Trek Warp Drive. The history of Star Trek's Warp Drive dates to the very beginnings of the franchise. From the first episode of the original series, viewers were introduced to the concept of Warp Drive, which allowed starships to travel faster than the speed of light. Since then, the technology has been a crucial aspect of every iteration of Star Trek, allowing characters to explore strange new worlds and encounter alien civilizations. John W. Campbell first suggested the idea of warp drive in his 1957 book Islands of Space. The term space warp drive was first used in Frederick Brown's Gateway to Darkness, 1949, and another unnamed story from Cosmic Stories, May 1941 was also cited as using the word warp in the context of space travel. However, the term bend or curvature in space that facilitates travel was first used in several works as early as the mid-1930s, such as Jack Williamson's The Cometeers, 1936. In-universe, the invention of the warp drive is typically credited to physicist Zephram Cochran, who developed the technology in the mid-21st century. In 2063, Cochrane successfully tested the first warp-capable vessel, the Phoenix, which attracted the attention of a passing Vulcan ship and led to humanity's first contact with an alien species. Do you want to know how this thing works? What are the warp mechanics in Star Trek? Let me explain to you how warp drive operates. In Star Trek, warp drive functions by annihilating matter and antimatter in a fusion reaction mediated by dilithium crystals. In this case, the matter takes the form of deuterium, a type of hydrogen gas. This generates the massive power necessary to warp space-time and propel the ship at the speed of light. Star Trek's warp drive works by creating a bubble around the spaceship that allows it to move faster than the speed of light. The ship does not actually move through space, instead it compresses space in front of it and expands it behind it, allowing it to travel through space faster than light. The warp drive is powered by a matter-antimatter reaction, which generates vast amounts of energy that is then used to create the bubble. The higher the warp factor, the faster the ship can travel. The mechanics of the warp drive are often explained using the idea of warp bubbles or warp fields. Essentially, the technology involves generating a bubble of subspace around the starship, allowing it to move through space at faster-than-light speeds. The amount of energy required to generate a stable warp field increases exponentially as the ship's speed approaches the speed of light. So achieving higher warp factors requires more power. One of the questions that come to our mind is, is warp drive even possible in real life? Let me answer this question briefly. Although objects cannot travel at speeds faster than light, our current knowledge of physics and how light moves does not rule out the idea of space itself moving at or faster than light. In reality, some researchers who have studied the issue contend that space-time expanded at superliminal speed in the early cosmos, if only for a brief time period. If these theories are confirmed, a warp drive may take advantage of this gap, leaving behind the problem of object propulsion 
and giving researchers the challenge of generating the tremendous energy required to traverse space-time. If scientists adopt this perspective, warp drive can be conceptualized as follows. The enormous quantity of energy that shrinks time-space in front of the spaceship while simultaneously expanding it at the back, resulting in a warp bubble, is produced by a warp drive. The ship would remain motionless in its immediate area as the warp moved to a new location at a superluminal rate, causing space-time to cascade by the bubble. You know there are some debunking myths regarding Star Trek warp drive. Some of the things you might think you know about Star Trek are false. Here are commonly held beliefs about Star Trek that are false and fascinatingly untrue. The belief that crew members wearing red uniforms are more likely to die than other members of the crew is a common misconception that has led to various memes and catchphrases among fans of the original series. However, this is only true to a certain extent. While the death of 25 red shirts over three seasons may seem like proof of the curse, it's important to remember that red uniforms were worn by hard workers in areas such as engineering and security. In contrast, gold uniforms were reserved for positions of command, and yellow uniforms had the highest mortality rate. Therefore, the red shirt curse is a misconception that can be explained by statistics and mathematics. NASA Astrophysics Data System has revealed recently that you can travel the galaxy via Albacrum's warp drive. That's insane! The potential for extraterrestrial civilizations to travel through interstellar space has been explored, specifically via the use of M. Alkabir's warp drive technology, which allows for superliminal or hypermotion. The parameters of the warp drive have been estimated and the equations of starship geodesics have been solved, demonstrating that the velocity of the starship can exceed the speed of light while remaining subluminal relative to the deformed spacetime. Furthermore, it has been determined that Hawking's radiation will not greatly impact the interior of the ship. However, practical obstacles to achieving hypermotion remain. One of the most exciting developments in warp drive technology is a recent study by Dr. Eric Lenz and his team at the NASA EagleWorks Laboratory. They have proposed a new design for a warp drive that does not rely on exotic matter or negative energy. Instead, the design uses a ring-shaped device that creates a warp bubble around the starship, allowing it to travel at superluminal speeds. Let me share the experience with you, the experience of NASA-employed warp drive specialists regarding the work of Al-Kabir Drive. We are aware of Al-Kabir's proposed mathematically valid solution to the warp drive that can traverse the cosmos above the speed of light without violating currently accepted laws of physics. It was also aware of how the solution had been derided for its use of theoretical materials and massive amounts of energy that appeared virtually impossible to engineer in any practical. However, NASA employed a warp drive specialist and the founder of the highly respected EagleWorks Laboratory reworked Al Kabir's original metric and put it into conical form. This change in design dramatically reduced the original concept's exotic materials and energy requirements. This reworked concept provided researchers and science fiction fans alike at least a glimmer of hope that a real-world warp drive may one day become reality. Let me tell you guys that conducting research on the warp drive concept requires a multidisciplinary approach combining science, fiction, and theoretical physics. Implementing these tips will help you gain a comprehensive understanding of the Star Trek warp drive and produce well-informed conclusions about its feasibility. Well, it'll be interesting to know in the future if we will witness this warp drive reality. What do you guys think about this scenario? Do let us know in the comments section. We would love to know your thoughts. That's it for today. If you want more informative videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our next upload. Thanks for watching.